So you've put LED indicators on your bike and indicators flash too fast or all together, all four of them. And today we'll go through how to get the flash rate right, how to get the dash indicator flashing correctly. Factory indicators are the standard incandescent uh, globes. They have the little filament in them. That little globe offers a bit of resistance. So what happens when you change your LED indicators, there's no resistance anymore and the little flasher unit can't, can't handle that. You'll find that if you change two of the four indicators to LED, the system will still operate fine. If you change all four indicators for LEDs, you'll find they flash at like twice the rate. Now the easy fix for that is simply change the, the flasher can or the flasher unit. On the 500, the flasher unit is somewhere up in here behind the headlight. Um, I simply bought an LED flasher unit off eBay. There it is there and swapped out the original one for it. That's how to get the flash rate right. So now that they will flash at the normal rate, not twice as fast. Now the, the next problem that I found was with the, the indicator light on the dash. So I'm talking about that little guy there. Now, yes, I've shifted it on this one. And what happens is that there is now enough resistance in that light that all four indicators will simply turn on. I'll show you. The simple solution for that is to pull that globe out of the dash indicator and your indicators will work fine. But then that means you're riding along half the day with an indicator on because you forgot about it. So to solve that requires a couple of diodes put in place. The theory is you have two wires from the, from the wiring loom. Wire loom. You have a purple wire and a black wire. These go to a diode each with the little ring at the at the far end to solder those individually. The two wires that come out the other end you twist those together. From the globe end You have the same two wires coming out, the purple wire, the black wire. In this case, the purple wire joins to the twisted together pair and the black wire goes off to ground. If you're like me and you want plugs, you just do what I did. I just stuck a set of plugs on down here and a similar setup here. That way I can uh, remove all of this bit if I want to and simply join this bit with this bit and it's back to normal. Now I personally can't stand chopping up wiring looms unless I can revert it easily. So the first step was simply cut this indicator, dash indicator wire and add some plugs. So this will allow me to put this bike back to standard very easily. Uh, those little plugs, um, I've done a, another video on these with links on where to get them. See above there for the link to that video. I'll show you where to get these. 
these diodes, they're a one-way, it's like, a, I don't know, it's like a valve, I suppose. It's a one-way uh, system whereby electricity can go one way, it can't come back. So this is the problem with the standard globe, that, that, that the, the electricity comes back down the wire, back into the flasher unit, and the whole thing can't handle it. So put these little diodes in place, and the problem is solved. From the wiring loom, comes into here, into this particular plug. For this solution, you simply take two diodes. I'll put the description of what I used below. Um, these are, I think they're one amp diodes. With the diode, the, this little silver ring, it denotes the direction. So the current can go this way, it can't come back through that silver ring. So you, you attach one end of, of each diode to each wire. The other side, these two simply get twisted together. And then the, the positive wire, this one here, which ends up going to the purple wire, which I'll just put up here for you. This ends up going to this purple wire, which is now positive. These two get twisted together onto the purple wire. From the globe coming back, the negative wire, that then simply goes to ground. So I will put this on the bike and I'll show you what difference that makes. From the loom, the wiring loom there, to that plug, into this plug, through the diodes, positive is going up into this plug and all the way to the globe there and then the ground which is a negative comes back through and I simply ground it which might go through to the the triple tree so we'll kick it in the guts and we'll see what this looks like just put the globe up there for now so that we can see it That's the solution to the uh, LED indicator problems. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like it, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.